Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 72, Painting a Pine Tree. Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, here I am working on a simple pine tree. I got my 4-inch roller and I just kind of grab it on end and use it like a brush and uh, brush in the color broad strokes and uh, I'm not sure if I did two coats on this or one. Sometimes you can get away with one coat of the green. Sometimes it takes two. These are tinted windows so the color really stands out against it. You can also use uh, the two inch foam brush too if you're more comfortable with that. I usually draw a line down the center and then just paint it in. But typically, unless they're really small trees, I use a roller. And especially if they're larger trees, I use the roller. It's quicker. But this is a medium green. I make this using chartreuse. The chartreuse green I buy, and then I add a little blue to it to give it that kind of a medium green. I don't really buy green paint or dark green or medium green. I just buy the yellowish green color and add blue to it to get this color. So here I'm pouring in some of the the lime green color that I buy by the gallon. This is the very end of the gallon. So I'm just uh, getting in the last few drops. And then uh, I go ahead and add a, a dark blue to it and I'll get a shot of this close up so you can see the two colors and then I just mix it up with my two inch foam brush and um, this is going to be the shadow for the tree these trees are really quick and I just kind of do a sweeping motion and what I'm doing here is I'm going to create kind of a shadow on the right side of the tree and then along the bottom too and I just sort of like get the brush out I mean it's gonna take a little practice but the main thing is just don't be too concerned about making it exact I mean you're gonna probably be going slower when you first do these trees but you'll you'll develop a style and a, a way of doing them yourself so I got the shadow done now I'm going in with that same lime green and I added white to it so I lightened it up. And sometimes I add a little bit of yellow too. And on this side I get a like a sweeping motion, almost like a circular motion going like this. And it, it just creates a flare and it gives it that that uh, that look. It just makes it cartoony but at the same time it gives it a th three dimensionality to it. Then I go in with my two inch razor and uh, I kind of put my finger up against it to grab grab the paint. Sometimes I just smush the paint on my my hoodie. So here I'm just cleaning up the edge, and that's it. It's all done. So here's some pictures of the trees I did. I did quite a few of them on this window. It's a great way for filling up space and giving it a an atmospheric theme. Sometimes I add faces to them. You've seen these before. This is the door, and I did a bunch of magic and flying snowflakes. And this is on the other side. I did another tree with the face sort of facing the other way. And here's some uh, some of the other stuff I did on. It's an auto body place, so got Santa and our uh, hot rod. <laughs> From all your friends at Beaverton Auto Body. Vroom! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.